up, folks? CRG Geo here. George Morgan at your service. I hope you're all having uh, a good day, um, should we say, enjoying your Wednesday. And uh, I have to say, I certainly am. This is my first official video, folks, on YouTube uh, since investing in this 4K resolution camera. Of course, some of you saw my uh, note yesterday. And if you want to go back and watch it, you can. And uh, obviously, it's just me sort of, sort of wanting, to, wanting to get some ideas as to what you'd like to see from me going forward on this channel. Uh, but more importantly today, we're going to talk about some news that has broken out, obviously, involving Red Bull. Uh, obviously, as you might have heard, um, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez confirmed as drivers once again, obviously, for next season. Sergio Perez brought into the fold to replace Alex Albon who is now a reserve driver. Now of course we had the uh, livery reveal already for Red Bull uh, just recently it was the R B16B, technically the B side from last season's car. But what we do understand, folks, is that a lot of the improvements that Honda had in place in with regards to the internal combustion engine, the turbo, and the ERS that was due at the end of 2022, they brought it forward to actually take place to sort of compete in 2021-22. So Honda and Red Bull could well be quicker. Honda obviously looking to bow out at the end of the season from the sport, but I understand obviously that they've been working with Red Bull to make it so it's a, a self-sustainable future so that Red Bull will be able to certainly provide its own answers to the to the engine issue for that matter. Now obviously looking ahead, uh, obviously Red Bull have obviously uh, like many F1 cars have had to sort of deal with the changes, the regulation changes that affect the structural uh, areas of the car. Uh, obviously the rear wing has changed as well and what it basically uh, the, the FIA are trying to do is try and minimize the, the speed going into the corners in, or, in and around the corner and now in order to recoup some of that downforce that's been lost it means that teams are having to look at the aerodynamics of the car a lot more so therefore we won't know as to who has actually benefited off this or who is struggling in terms of the aerodynamic capabilities until we hit Bahrain for the very first race of the season so it's going to be very interesting to see who has actually developed the aerodynamic side of things a lot more than the others obviously we won't know like I said until Bahrain. Um, what is nerve-wracking? Uh, nerve no, we did hear recent reports that Sergio Perez is feeling a little bit uncomfortable in the car after their first test at Silverstone and uh, certainly does not provide Red Bull with too much confidence but at the same time obviously it's his first time in the car we we all know it's, it's very well speculated that of course the the Red Bull car is uh, essentially built for Max, should we say, hence Pierre Gasly and Alex Albon's unfortunate attempts uh, over previous seasons. So it'll be interesting to see how Sergio gets on, of course. We won't look into too much of the early offerings, even though maybe it does cause a little bit of a head scratch or a bit of a headache for the Red Bull team, but we'll soon find out and see how quick they are. Obviously, going back to the end of last season, Max Verstappen winning the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix sort of showed, and in good fashion as well, that they were catching up with the likes of Mercedes, who in fact started work on their 20 2021 car back last August. So it'll be interesting to see how both of these constructors respond to that last race in Abu Dhabi and uh, who will really be the dominant force on the grid, folks. We can, we'll just wait and see. Next, I want to talk about Williams Racing. Talks of a potential deal with Alpine, of course, mere speculation at this stage. Uh, but what we are hearing is that Alpine are looking to actually uh, supply Williams with engines in the future. Now, of course, Alpine recently rebranded from the Renault team uh, prior. Um, of course, Renault and Williams have such a, a rich history. I mean, back in the 90s when I first started watching Formula One, it was, of course, Williams Renault uh, that had the likes of Jacques Villeneuve winning the title and Damon Hill winning the title as well. So they have such a rich history dating back and even further back than that, of course, as well. Um, but what this does mean, of course, is that Alpine will be able to uh, send their drivers to Williams to get experience in Formula One. Uh, similar to what we've seen with the likes of George Russell being part of the Mercedes driver program and driving for Williams, of course. What this will mean for Williams, however, is that they will not be able to continue their relationship with Mercedes. Obviously, it's not just engines they get from Mercedes, it's other parts as well. And therefore, Alpine would be filling that void as such. They'll be taking over the responsibilities in terms of the engine and also supplying drivers from a youth standpoint. And obviously, new up-and-comers that are competing in F2 and also F3 uh, as such. And uh, obviously, we'll look forward to seeing what happens there, of course. Still, like I said, all speculation at this stage, but what this could mean is that Alpine could be going back and sort of bringing history uh, or history repeating itself in a sense that Renault were once sponsoring, uh, or not sponsoring, sorry, um, that, William, that Renault were once partnered with Williams, in uh, Renault once partnered with Williams, should I say, 
and uh, bringing engines to them as well as drivers. So we'll soon see folks. Obviously it's all mere speculation at this stage, but we'll look forward to seeing what happens and what occurs. Well folks, thanks ever so much for watching my first video. Of course, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Also leave a comment as well. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys have to say and uh, we'll look forward to um, certainly hearing uh, what you'd like to see more from this channel as well. Please post your comments down below and tell me what you would like to see on the CRGGO YouTube channel, uh, where it may be commentaries. Uh, there are comments of a potential uh, drive to survive using the F1 2020 game, or maybe the new game that comes out in the near future. Um, but uh, anyway, we'll look forward to hearing what you guys have to say and we'll respond in uh, in due course. But guys, thanks ever so much. Like I said, please leave a like and a subscribe. I've been CRGGO George Morgan. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.